from the depths of radio nothingness comes Radio Nowhere. Radio Nowhere is JBD is proud to permit Radio Nowhere. All right, we're back. And welcome back, finally. To the special 45 minute edition of Radio Nowhere. <laughs> We got off to a little bit of a late start this And uh, I wasn't even, as as you guys very poignantly pointed out last point, week. Poignantly pointed out. Yes, so it was I, sad. I wasn't here. Mm-hmm. And you guys were all having a crying fit about it. Um, because we had a special plan for your birthday. Well, I have to say, you guys should have been embarrassed because that show was terrible. That show was awesome, actually. It, it was awful. It was awesome. Uh, you were here last week to run the new computer system. Uh, so I would have thought maybe you would have had the bugs worked out by now. But no, me being back, I had to show you how to actually get us on the air finally. That Okay, that's... Even though it's the first time I've even laid eyes on the new equipment. Okay. So what does that say? Um, also, one of the other things we talked about last week is when Tackett was here... Um, I couldn't see him because of where he was sitting. And I'm hiding conveniently now. Yeah, and, and now I actually enjoy that because with Tackhead, we were having a nice little repartee. And uh, with you, it's just wine fest behind the computer. And what was the whole show last week? It was wine fest. Um, I mean, every and every, with every little mistake, and every, we're Steve, we're Steve. Thanks, Steve. Wah, wah, wah. Because as far as the quality of the show, um, good or bad, it's kind of a coin toss whether or not you're here. Steve, that's what I'm trying to say. How's that? I don't see what you're pointing at. I, of course, you know the computer's in the way. True. You'd see exact. You'd see exactly what I'm pointing that's, at. That's that's lovely. Okay, good. So, good morning. It's Matt Donahoe and Steve Stein, and Matt Leibarger is curled up in the corner still. Yeah, I, I think that's part of the problem. He keeps drooling on the equipment, and um, yeah, he will not wake up for this show. Um, no matter what kind of arguing is going on. Chad is off to the Greenish Isles, I believe. And Tackett is what? Riding a choo-choo? Yes, I believe he is riding a choo-choo. And uh, we are here. We are left to um, hold down the fort, as they say. For this and, special 45-minute edition of Radio Nowhere. Well, and um, we're down to 40 now. So hmm. we heard, kicking things off, we heard Dada. And Steve was talking about how he has not heard... Or even thought about Dada for quite some time, and they're—I don't even want to qualify as saying hit. They were an alternative rock band. Um, I guess their biggest known song was. I knew you were going to ask that, and I'm. You like, just really? mentioned you just mentioned it actually. The song. Yeah, the song. What was their biggest song that they that they did? I guess I've blacked out because I don't even remember mentioning the song. I, I know they had one specific song and. And it wasn't this one. The one no. we just heard was Dim yeah. by Dada and their big song. And we oh, played it was Disneyland. Disneyland, yeah, right. Yeah. And uh, we played it actually here a while back on the show. Um, do you remember how they spelled Disneyland? I do not. It was either with two Z's. It was like Disneyland so they could get away with... Uh, Copyrights yeah, and all that exactly. stuff. Yeah, exactly. And uh, doing a ham-handed segue here since Disney owns all of the Marvel movies... Uh, have you seen the new Captain America movie? I have. It was fantastic. I I loved it. Where uh, it, what was it? Last week it opened. Yes. I think it's on track. Maybe still be number one this weekend. It looks like. And uh, big fan setting up the Avengers two. Yeah, I, I am. I mean, they they did a heck of a setup. I mean, it's it's really shaking things up. Yeah, I, and that's what I really like about this one. Instead of another adventure. Uh, You know, with the same characters, it's a true sequel. It's like things are actually changing. Right. Uh, Like you said, they're shaking things up. It's it's not just, oh, Captain America fights more bad guys and then lives happily ever after. Right. Uh, And we don't want to spoil. No. But I will say, you and I had talked uh, via text or something earlier about Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And it is kind of cool that they are essentially following the same storyline and... 
Yes. Kind of filling in some of the gaps even. Yes. If uh, you watch or w- used to watch Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. on um, what it, Tuesday nights on ABC? Yes. Yeah. The show started off a little shaky, got a little bit better, and it's been getting progressively better. Mm-hmm. And now it's like, this is what we've been waiting for. Something that ties in big with the Marvel movies. Right. And uh, if you saw it at the same theater I saw it at, you got a lot of superhero previews, too. I did. Um, what, what, Guardians of the Galaxy. That's the next big Marvel Universe movie. What uh, do you think of it? Well, you know, before seeing the preview, I was just kind of like, eh, on it. I'd probably see it, but I, it wasn't like anything that I was... After seeing the preview, it looks very funny. Um, mm-hmm. You know, I don't know how much it's going to tie in with the other movies right away, but... Because uh, it's an outer space movie. Right. With, uh, what, like a couple aliens and a human, looks like a, like a thief. And I have to say that... And a talking raccoon with a gun. I can't think of the actor's name, but the, the, the male lead on the show that's from... Uh, um, Parks and Rec. Parks and Rec. And Rec he, I think he's going to be hilarious on that. Oh, I do too. That's um, Chris Pratt. Yes, that is it. And um, I think it's funny because if you see him on Parks and Rec, well, one, he's kind of a dope on that show. Right. Um, but, uh, Steve, are you are you a big fan of that show? I am. We are a couple seasons behind, but I, I've enjoyed it. So if I if I drop the name Brent Macklin, I think is the name, would you know that? Uh, I'm not sure that I know that one. That is his uh, his dream character of wanting to be an FBI agent on on Parks and Rec. Have you ever seen him do that? I don't know that I, I don't think we've seen that yet. Oh, that that gets going a little bit later and it, he's doing security for someone, but he's like a it's his super spy wannabe alter ego. Okay. It's hard to explain if you haven't seen the show. I mean, I know you have so you can imagine the circumstances, but yes. uh that's kind of the mode he's in I thought for Guardians of the Galaxy. Like dopey but serious. Right. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to uh, a lot of the big Marvel stuff coming out. Now, Marvel's got its own universe with Disney, and that's Iron Man, Captain America, Avengers, Guardians of the Galaxy. But they've also got their other properties um, in other movie companies, like Spider-Man. Did you see that Spider-Man 2 preview? I did. I did. It, and? Looks, it looks, you know, it, it looks all right. I, and, and honestly, when they redid Spider-Man, I was... Not interested. I mean, I, I would say totally disinterested. Right. Uh, but one weekend we had the HBO free preview or whatever, and it was on, and I recorded it and watched it, and I was pleasantly surprised. Same here. And I actually enjoyed it. I, I did, too. I thought it was. And see, one of the things that always bugs me is when they reboot something, you have to sit through the origin story again. Right. So they have to do that really well or else it just doesn't work. Right. And they did this really well. They did. Yeah, uh, yeah I, I thought it was quite well. I, and I am I am jet the other one of the other previews for Captain America. I am really pumped about the new X-Men movie. I I cannot wait for that. Um I I I hope I I really kind of question as far as the I'll call them the original cast. Right. I, I wonder how much screen time they're going to get. I'm guessing the movie is going to open up with them, and then we're going to go back in time to solve the wrong as such. But I hope they get a fair amount of screen time. And I, I have to think that, because in this one, we had X-Men 1, 2, 3, plus two Wolverine movies that all kind of had to do with the same, ca- you know, right. Patrick Stewart, Ian McKellen, um, Hugh Jackman. And, of course, Hugh Jackman can play himself in the past because Wolverine doesn't really age. Right. And then they did X-Men First Class with a whole new cast. Mm -hmm. And so that was kind of, and and again, we're talking about reboots here. Yeah, that that was another one that, honestly, I wasn't overly excited about. But after seeing it, I actually enjoyed it. And I always kind of got the vibe they were just rebooting it. I mean, yeah, it tied into the present day. Right. But it was kind of like, yeah, here's our new cast. We're going to forget about the old ones. So Mm -hmm. to, to see... Both casts come together for a movie, even if it is, like you say, kind of a handoff, you know, from the old cast to the new. That's still pretty cool. Right. And plus, it's a guy, it's Brian Singer directing it. He did... Um, he did the first one or two, didn't he? Yeah, he did the first two, and he's all, he's doing this one, and then he's also doing the next one. Oh, really? Yeah. The uh, Now, this is Days of Future Past, mm-hmm. uh, which is based on a comic book storyline, like a very specific X-Men comic book storyline. Just like Winter Soldier is. Winter Soldier is right. a specific comic book 
um, storyline. And then the next one is another comic storyline that is Age of Apocalypse. What can you tell me about it? I mean, what it is, will we see both casts possibly again? or Possibly. I would have to think they're going forward with just the new cast. Yeah. I... Um, but they have talked about bringing back some, like, favorite characters, not necessarily the actors, like Gambit and Nightcrawler might show up again. Mm-hmm. Um, Gambit we saw in X-Men 3, Nightcrawler X-Men 2. And we've been on the air for about 15 minutes, and I feel this is about the geekiest we have ever gone, Steve. Possibly. I mean, this is, I feel like we are about two minutes away from me nitpicking the differences between costumes in the comics and the movies. Well, I kind of feel like that since we've actually got the microphones working, that if we actually go off the microphones, we may just lose everything again. So, you know. We're a little scared right yeah, now. Yeah, kind of scared to change anything up. Um, how about we change topics up for a minute, though, and talk weather? Oh, okay. It's it, yeah. It's already that time. Um, you know, that's what happens when when we start fifteen minutes late because we don't know how to run the computer. Apparently, at least um, some of us don't. You know what? I, let's let's settle it and, and say that it took both of us to get the show on the air. Well, I mean, I would have thought, hoped you would have had more like, input because you time were here. for weather with Steve Stein, who's going to shut up about everything else and do the weather today. Windy. It's being Sunday. Today being Sunday, going to continue being windy. High of 74. Another beautiful day. Tonight, however, being Sunday night, uh, we've got a pretty good chance of thunderstorms, some possibly being severe as a cold front comes through. Um, Monday, it's going to be significantly cooler. It's going to be a high of 55 with rain. And actually, I believe the temperature is going to somewhat drop during the day. Uh, Monday night, we're going to get down to 34. Um, possibly even, we might even dip a little bit lower lower than that and might even see freezing temperatures at night. Uh, Tuesday, high of 48 with a low of 32. And then it looks like it's going to gradually warm up again as the week goes. And that's your forecast. Okay, now I'll give you a minute. Find the weather for Chicago for the next few days as well, please. Uh, and the reason he's doing this is because uh, my school is on spring break and my kids' school is on spring break as well. So we've decided to get away for a few days starting tomorrow. Whole family going to Chicago. Uh, for kind of like a little mini vacation. And, you know, yeah, it's getting a little bit cooler here and possibly some rain. But the last I checked the Chicago weather, Steve, do you have that up yet? I'm working on it. Uh, Okay. Last I checked, um, they're looking at possibly uh, flurries on Tuesday. So I, I was so pumped. I found us a place. Uh, downtown Chicago, where it was kind of like walking distance from everywhere we wanted to go, because we're going to try to hit like Field Museum and Navy Pier and just kind of see the city. Are you ready? And huh? Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. So let's see what w- me and my family are going to be walking around in. Monday. Yeah. Sixty percent chance of rain. Huzzah. High. A forty-one. Oh joy. <laughs> Monday night. A thirty yep. percent chance of rain or snow. With a low of 29. All right. Tuesday, 40. Wednesday, 48. Awesome. That's your Chicago forecast. <laughs> your Chicago forecast specifically done just for me. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's what I'm going to be walking around in on um, my little mini vacation. Right. Did you know you're supposed to go south like this time of year on vacation? Yeah, I guess so. But uh, I, the good thing about Chicago is traditionally, uh, I mean, even if it is cold up there, traditionally it is not, not known to be very windy. Oh no, it's it's nice. Yeah. They, don't, they don't call it the Windy City for nothing. I thought that was New York. Yeah, that's it. Do it. Radio Nowhere, WJBD. That was somebody that Matt chose, and I don't know who it was, and didn't recognize the song. <laughs> a couple songs before that, we heard Steve Winwood's Valerie by request because everybody was having a cow about me playing Steve Winwood so there you go wine 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 after the Steve Winwood song we heard uh, Not a Surf and Popular and then the song we just heard I can't believe you don't recognize it's Cake and the song is Going the Distance no I don't I've heard of Cake but I I don't know the song you've heard of Cake what's your favorite white or chocolate Uh, I'm a white guy really yeah really red velvet red velvet mom's red velvet is, is classic my mom's red velvet? No, my mom. Well, my mom has very good red velvet cake as well, though. Have you had my mom's red velvet cake? I believe I have. And? My mom's is better. Really? 
Yes. I don't know that I, I've never had your mom's red velvet cake, so I can't say that with all all certainty. But I'm thinking mom's is going to be hard to beat. You think so? Yep. Okay. We may have to have a cake off now. I, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we have a blind taste test. Next time we have the radio, like more of the Radio Nowhere guys up here, mm. we'll bring in blind taste test, and we'll see We'll see who's better. We shall see. And I'm telling you, it's going to be my mom's red velvet cake. Okay. So I have to say, I've never done a show more comfortable than I am right now. Yeah, and I have to say, I've never done a show more uncomfortable than I am right now. I mean, I'm kicked back. I got my shoes off, feet up. It's nice. I'm living it. Yeah, and you know what? For the same reasons is why this is one of the more uncomfortable shows. The I've monitors ever done. are there. You can't see much. I can see your foot. It's all right. And uh oh, he is currently taking his shirt off, ladies and gentlemen. Might I want, as well get comfy. I it's nice you, out in I, here. <laughs> it's getting hot in here. Uh, <laughs> please don't finish that. <laughs> <laughs> You know what's a tragedy is not being able to get the computer system to work. Wah, wah. Wow. <laughs> that was weak. Oh, it's Radio Nowhere, WJBD, the Bee Gees, and... Tragedy. Tragedy. Before that, Bare Naked Ladies, the old apartment. And you didn't recognize that song, did you? I did not. Like, the one song of theirs I think you recognize is that stupid song you always want us to play about the monkeys. What? The postcards with the monkeys yeah, on it. Uh, another postcard from chimpanzees. Yeah, okay. The chimp- I love that song. Yeah, I, we know. We are aware. Hmm. Uh, so. I hope everybody enjoyed our 45-minute episode of Radio Nowhere. And you know, I think they did. And you want to know why? Because the phone lines are lighting up? Well, I think in most people's minds, the less Radio Nowhere on the air, the happier they are. Some people, maybe. <laughs> Um, all I know is last week without you, we had an all-time ratings high. I doubt that severely. Oh, you should. <laughs> Seriously, last week, uh, our, our listenership doubled. Both people I talked to said they enjoyed Because <laughs> mm. I have to say, when I listened to it, I was embarrassed to even have my name af- affiliated with the show. And see, any other time, we're embarrassed to have your name <laughs> affiliated with the show as well. So Really? Yep. Yes, Steve, really. I think we should, uh, everybody go to our Facebook page, and we should start a vote uh, mm. with, or, with or without Steve, and, and we should let the fans talk. Fine. Go to our Facebook page. You can find us on WJBD Radio's Facebook page, um, or just on Facebook. Look for WJBD Radio Nowhere, correct? Correct. Uh, and, of course, you can always find shows on YouTube, searching for WJBD Radio Nowhere. But go there, and we'll try to post something here. Um, should we do the show with or without Steve? Are you doing it right I, now? I am actually putting it on the Facebook page okay. right now. The vote is on. The vote uh, will be on here on our Radio Nowhere page. Should th- Now, here's the thing then, Steve. What happens if they vote you off the island, so to speak? I'll probably still be here. So what you're saying Cause, is... Because uh, it's been quite clear that if I'm not here, things just don't go well. So what you're saying is we are giving our listeners a voice, but we're going to ignore that voice. No. Mm. no we'll, 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 let, we'll let them talk. I don't think I got anything to worry about. So now you're getting cocky. No. Almost smug. No. I, I, I think you're getting a little smug here, Steve. So um, let's go ahead and wrap things up. Uh, if you liked what you heard for the last 45 minutes, please tell a friend and have them listen as well. Um, you know, and I, I don't know that we've ever explained that as well. It's not just tell a friend like, hey, I like the show. We want them to listen. So if you liked what you heard, please tell a friend. But if you didn't like what you heard, don't tell anyone. Ever. And for Steve Stein, this is Matt Donahoe. It's Vote Radi- Steve. <laughs> this is Radio Nowhere at WJBD. This has been an I Love Raisins production.